Hey, hey, it's day 36. It's another short day, so let's get to it. Screenwriter's Journey. Um, this looks like June 4th. So, again, we're at the end of the script, and they're at the airport. Lexi is sort of wise to the fact that she can basically be a human shield because no one's going to shoot her. And the others, Rachel in particular, is trying to kind of work around that. And then, so here I am where I was yesterday talking about this 14 years ago. You beg to be reassigned. Don't take my word for it. Um, and so I think I this looks like new dialogue today where Holly's admitting, yes, you know, sometimes I didn't love it. Uh, sometimes I wondered, why am I doing this? It's not even my kid. And then why'd you stay? Now this, uh, I'm not going to comment too much on this. This was really, I'm not going to say hard to write because it wasn't, um, there we go, the L word. This is one of those things where when I'm writing it and I'm like physically getting caught up sort of in the emotion, which I love to do. And hopefully if you're a screenwriter or will someday write a screenplay or a book that you can really get so invested in your characters that you can literally start kind of choking up and stuff. And I'm not saying this is the world's best, most emotional scene, but and I don't even know that it happened right here. But there are a lot of times when I get to the end of a script and. I don't know if I'm bawling my eyes out, but um, it does kind of make you feel good when you really get into it so much that you, uh, like I wrote there, feels tears forming. So would she really say that? Is it super hokey? Is it super trite? It's just so much in the delivery. I mean, I could see, then why did you stay? She takes a long beat. Duty, responsibility, love. I mean, you could deliver that in a thousand different ways, especially if you're a good actor. And so the question always is, for me, how much of that do you try to write into your description? I had someone tell me the other day after reading one of my scripts that I had a certain style. He didn't say if it was good or bad, which was nice of him. But he said, if I had a pile of 10 scripts that had no names on them, I bet I could pick yours out just by how you write. And I don't know if that's dialogue. I think it's more in how I write the action and description. And I think what I try to do, and I've mentioned this before, having made three of my own movies and, you know, a bunch of shorts and blah, blah, blah. I really tried to write directing sort of the camera in the description so that when you read it you could sort of picture the shot and because of that it I think that's what a screenplay really is supposed to do um, but that's not to say that a spec screenplay should look like that at all because the idea of a spec screenplay is to garner interest and blah 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 and so, the, you know, there's a lot of different ways to write, and I don't know that this is a good way <laughs> or not, because when you make it yourself, literally it doesn't matter what you write, because I think, as I may have mentioned before, once, at least in my experience, once you get to the set and you start working on it, all you really care about is the dialogue and then some key stuff going on, obviously. Wow, day 36 came to a quick end, and I don't even know what I was <laughs> writing about because I was too busy talking. But day 37 promises to be longer. And if you promise to return, so will I. See you then.